Good everyone, you're watching Rated Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your spacebar is not working in your Windows. If your spacebar key is not working in your Windows, the issue can be caused by hardware problems, misconfigured accessibility settings, or outdated or corrupted keyboard drivers. So here are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now the first method to resolve this issue is to clean the keyboard. Dust or debris under the space bar is a common cause. Use compressed air or gently lift the a key cap if possible to clean the underneath. So once the debris or the dust particles are cleaned, you can check if your space bar is working. And if it works well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to check the accessibility settings. To do this, you will have to go to the settings by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings. Once you're on these settings, you may go ahead and click on accessibility. Once you're on the accessibility, you will have to locate for keyboard, click on the keyboard and ensure the sticky keys, filter keys and toggle keys are turned off. All these option needs to be turned off in case if they are enabled, you will have to turn this off by using this toggle button. Make sure all these options are turned off. Now these features can interfere with the normal key input, especially filter keys and sticky keys. Once this is done, you may close this window and then check if your space bar key is working. In case if it works well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to test with an external keyboard. Connect an external USB or a Bluetooth keyboard and if the check if the space bar works. In case if the space bar works on an external keyboard, your laptop or an internal keyboard may have an hardware issue. So you might want to replace it. Now in case in spite of all this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and restart your computer. Perform a full shutdown or a restart, not just sleep or hibernation, as some issues are temporary and may resolve after the reboot. Once you restart your computer and then check if your keyboard or a space bar works on your computer. In case if it works, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to update or reinstall keyboard drivers. To do this, you will have to open device manager by doing a right click on the start button and then click on device manager from the list. Once you have the device manager open, you will have to go ahead and expand keyboards. Once you locate keyboard, you will have to go ahead and update the driver. So in case if you have more than one keyboards listed here, you may go ahead and update the drivers for both. So you can do a right click and then click on update driver and choose the option which says search automatically for drivers and click on close. Repeat the same step for the second one, update driver automatically for drivers and click on close. Once this is done, you may go ahead and restart your computer and then check if your space bar is working. In case if the space bar is working well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method is to go ahead and run the keyboard troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. And in the run window, you will have to go ahead and type this command. I will also mention this command in the video description. You can copy and paste the command from the video description. Once you have this command, you may click on OK. This will go ahead and run the hardware and device troubleshooter. Click on advanced and make sure apply repairs automatically has been checked. Once this is done, follow the step by step instructions on the screen. What this will do is this will try to detect the problem by itself. And in case if there are any issues related to the computer or to the any files to your external keyboard or external device, it will try to fix by itself. Once this is done, you may close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method is to go ahead and restart human interface device services. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. And in the run window, you will have to go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. And that should open the services window. Under this list, you will have to locate for human interface device service. It would be in alphabetical order. Once you have located this, you will have to do a right click and then click on restart. Once this is done, you may close this window and then check if your space keyboard is working. 
in case if it works well and good you don't need to try the next method now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next method you could try is to go ahead and check for the windows update you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on these settings you may go ahead and click on windows update and then click on check for the updates and see if there are any updates to be installed on your computer in case if there are any possible updates to be installed on the computer install those updates close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved now all this step should definitely fix a problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day